Hey guys, welcome to Medifaction. Today we will learn about the physiology of oxytocin. So, oxytocin is a hormone that acts on organs in the body and as a chemical messenger in the brain, controlling key aspects of the reproductive system including childbirth and lactation and aspects of human behavior. So, to learn more about oxytocin, let's begin. In this video, I will be enumerating an introduction about oxytocin, the source and secretion of oxytocin, chemistry and its half-life, actions in females, actions on mammary gland, milk ejection reflex, action on uterus, action in males and also mode of action of oxytocin. Let's begin. Introduction Oxytocin is a hormone secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland, which is a pea-sized structure at the base of the brain. It is sometimes known as the cuddle hormone or the love hormone because it is released when people snuggle up or bond socially. Source of Secretion Oxytocin is secreted mainly by paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus. It is also secreted by supraoptic nucleus in small quantity and it is transported from hypothalamus to posterior pituitary through the nerve fibers of hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract. In the posterior pituitary, the oxytocin is stored in the nerve endings of hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract. When suitable stimuli reach the posterior pituitary from hypothalamus, oxytocin is released into the blood. Oxytocin is secreted in both males and females. Chemistry and Half-Life Oxytocin is a polypeptide having 9 amino acids. It has a half-life of about 6 minutes. Actions in Females In females, Oxytocin acts on mammary gland and uterus. Action of oxytocin on mammary glands. Oxytocin causes ejection of milk from the mammary gland. Ducts of the mammary glands are lined by myoepithelial cells. Oxytocin causes contraction of the myoepithelial cells and flow of milk from alveoli of mammary glands to the exterior through duct system and nipple. The process by which the milk is ejected from alveoli of mammary gland is called milk ejection reflex. It is one of the neuroendocrine reflexes. Milk ejection reflex Plenty of touch receptors are present on the mammary glands, particularly around the nipple. When the infant suckles mother nipple, the touch receptors are stimulated. The impulses discharged from touch receptors are carried by the somatic afferent nerve fibers to the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei of hypothalamus. Now, hypothalamus in turn sends impulses to the posterior pituitary through hypothalamo-hypophyseal tract. Afferent impulses causes release of oxytocin into the bloodstream. When the hormone reaches the mammary gland, it causes contraction of myoepithelial cells, resulting in ejection of milk from mammary glands. As this reflex is initiated by the nervous factors and completed by the hormonal action, it is called a neuroendocrine reflex. During this reflex, large amount of oxytocin is released by positive feedback mechanism. Action of oxytocin on uterus Oxytocin acts on pregnant uterus and also non-pregnant uterus. 
Let's see the action on pregnant uterus first. Throughout the period of pregnancy, oxytocin secretion is inhibited by estrogen and progesterone. At the end of pregnancy, the secretion of these two hormones, that is estrogen and progesterone, decreases suddenly and the secretion of oxytocin is thus increased. Oxytocin causes contraction of uterus and helps in the expulsion of fetus. During the latter stage of pregnancy, the number of receptors of oxytocin increases in the wall of the uterus. Because of this, the uterus becomes more sensitive to oxytocin. Oxytocin secretion increases during labor. At the onset of labor, the cervix dilates and the fetus descends through the birth canal. During the movement of fetus through cervix, the receptors on the cervix are stimulated and start discharging large number of impulses. These impulses are carried to the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei of hypothalamus by the somatic afferent nerve fibers. Now, these two hypothalamic nuclei secrete large quantity of oxytocin which enhances labor by causing contraction of uterus. Throughout labor, large quantity of oxytocin is released by means of positive feedback mechanism. That is, oxytocin induces contraction of uterus which in turn causes release of more amount of oxytocin. The contraction of uterus during labor is also a neuroendocrine reflex. Oxytocin it also stimulates the release of prostaglandins in the placenta. Prostaglandins intensify the uterine contraction induced by oxytocin. Now let's see the action of oxytocin on non-pregnant uterus. The action of oxytocin on non-pregnant uterus is to facilitate the transport of sperms through female genital tract up to the fallopian tube by producing the uterine contraction during sexual intercourse. During the sexual intercourse, the receptors in the vagina are stimulated. Vaginal receptors generate the impulses which are transmitted by somatic afferent nerves to the paraventricular and supraoptic nuclei of hypothalamus. When these two nuclei are stimulated, oxytocin is released and transported by blood. While reaching the female genital tract, the hormone causes antiperistaltic contraction of uterus towards the fallopian tube. It is also a neuroendocrine reflex. Sensitivity of uterus to oxytocin is accelerated by estrogen and decreased by progesterone. Action of oxytocin in males. In males, the release of oxytocin increases during ejaculation. It facilitates release of sperm into urethra by causing contraction of smooth muscle fibers in reproductive tract, particularly vas deferens. What is the action, I mean mode of action of oxytocin? Oxytocin acts on mammary glands and uterus by activating G protein coupled oxytocin receptor. Hope you have understood the video. Like, subscribe and press the bell button for more videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.